cancer reflux is a common disease, but our next guest says it's not as easy to diagnose as many people think, and it could go undetected for years. In fact, for one of his patients, it went undetected for 40 years. Here with more, please welcome back Dr. Elias Dorito with Houston Heartburn and Reflux Center, along with his patients, Brent Hahn and Al McKean. Good morning. Good morning. All right. So um, when we say acid reflux, there are people who say, well, you mean basic heartburn. You know the difference between basic heartburn and acid reflux. So tell me what your symptoms were to the point where you just couldn't stand it anymore. Mine was, I thought it was normal. Uh, I was eating antacids on a regular basis before I went to bed. The discomfort went away, and I continued on with what I thought was a yeah. normal You were treating occurrence. the symptoms, yes, but when you say discomfort, what kind of discomfort are we talking Burning, about? Burning, belching, uh, uncomfortable in my throat, and uh, upper chest. Yeah, Just and a, Al, for you? Uh, mine was a little different. I had a chron chronic cough for years, 40 years at least. Yeah, we mentioned that, that earlier. That just never went away, and I would have more regards at night, reflux. I'd wake up at night uh, with reflux. Yeah, and, and we went so, to a doctor saying, okay, I keep coughing. What did you think it was? Is it allergies well, or something? Well, you know, or? they just treated it for like, asthma or uh, upper respiratory issues. I was on z packs and antibiotics for years, and it would never go away. Hmm. All right, and then we talked about that too, of being yeah. on all the uh, antibiotics for uh, things that don't, aren't really the problem. All right, Dr. Dorito, this is why it's important when you have like a Houston Heartburn and Reflux Center. This is your area of expertise. Mm -hmm. uh, from the get-go, these are symptoms that you would have recognized. Yes. All right, so with Brent, there's different, also different ways of, of addressing heartburn. So with Brent, what was the answer here? So uh, Brent came initially for weight loss. And uh, being overweight is a major risk factor for having acid reflux disease. And we always look for that when we, before going for weight mm -hmm. loss surgery. And when we did look at the esophagus, you know, the food pipe with, with Brent before the weight loss surgery, we found a lot of inflammation. That Brent thought it was part of his normal life. Yeah, that's because you're a firefighter paramedic. He thought heartburn was part of the deal. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, <laughs> all right. And he was, he was extinguishing it with medications. Mm -hmm but he wasn't treating the underlying cause. Right. Which is something that people need to keep in mind. If you are basically using things like that every day to take care of those symptoms, then you're not really fixing the problem. And if we kind of ignore this and you still have that inflammation going on, are we causing damage yes. when we just keep waiting? A lot of damage. And this damage may lead to cancer. Uh, years down the road. Okay, so throughout your esophagus, uh, you had like that inflammation. In preparation for surgery, you've lost how many pounds already? 62. 62 pounds already. How has that impacted your acid reflux? I, I don't take the medication at, at all anymore. Wow. So the, it's been gone since August. Yeah. And I, I'd forgotten about it until I had a, a, a pre-surgical procedure test and he came, Dr. Dorito came back and said, well you have this and this and this, did you have heartburn or acid reflux? And I said, yes. And I didn't tell him that in my, my interview with him because I thought it was normal. Yeah. I, I, I didn't even pay any attention. Huh. And it was an eye opener, especially after I saw the, the damage that was healing right, on my right. esophagus. It was very concerning. And Dr. Dorito, it, it, this points to that just a simple thing like losing weight, I say simple mm -hmm. thing, that's a battle for a lot of us, but losing weight can really impact uh, heartburn or acid reflux. All right. Uh, for Al, however, who had been you know, misdiagnosed for 40 years, for him, what was the, the answer? So we had to go through the workup with Al. And uh, he suffered from silent reflux or laryngopharyngeal reflux and basically had symptoms in the throat rather than the typical heartburn yeah. that most patients feel. Which is the reason why it was missed. And yes, it's commonly missed because you, know, you think chronic cough is uh, asthma or infection mm -hmm. or something like that. And the workup is essential because we go in and we measure acid in the throat and in the esophagus and we quantify how bad the disease is. We stage it. And according to the stage in our diagnosis, we prescribe the treatment. Okay. So, which is the key, obviously, like we said, one size fits all is not for everybody. So what was the treatment for Al? So for Al, the treatment was the uh, Nissen fund application, the surgery, which is the most reliable and most uh, effective way of uh, controlling acid reflux. Okay. And what is happening in our body when we say acid reflux and heartburn? And again, people may get it from time to time, but what's the difference that we're talking about here where you actually should show up at this center? Yes. So heartburn is the symptom of acid reflux disease. 
Heartburn is a symptom that the patient reports. Acid reflux disease or GERD, gastroesophageal reflux mm -hmm. disease, is what we diagnose. And acid reflux disease happens when acid in the stomach is refluxing back into the esophagus. Acid should stay in the stomach. All of us secrete acid to digest food. But when acid escapes into the esophagus, that's when you have the problem of acid reflux disease. Okay, so is that a permanent solution when we looked at what Al got? Yeah, with, with surgery, this is re, this is like the most reliable. It's a permanent solution for him. Yeah, we, and you, you haven't coughed once, which, by the way, no, if no. this had been done before no. the surgery, you probably would have had a few Especially coughs in there. Especially when I talk there. to friends on the, on the phone who knows the cough that I've always had. It was like a smoker's cough, yeah. and I never smoked. And that cough and is so now is they, like, they hear me on the phone, and they're like, you haven't coughed. No, yeah, because it, in your ear it's really loud right. when you're like I, on the phone. It was so common that I, I never noticed it and I just thought like, Brett, it's normal for me. I yeah. cough. Yeah. All right. And if you're using over-the-counter antacids, I know a lot of people do, and they think, I'll get to seeing a doctor later, I'll get to seeing a doctor later. Again, we mentioned that um, the damage is still occurring, mm -hmm. but what should we be concerned about when we keep downing all these antacids as well? Yeah, well, there are side effects. These medications uh, are very powerful medications that block the acid. And if you buy it over the counter, you know, there's a warning on the, on the bottle, mm -hmm. don't use it more than 14 days. And we know that acid reflux and you were disease. Every day. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. For 14 years. Meal. Yeah. So um, acid reflux disease is a chronic disease. It's not going to go away after 14 days. Yeah. So if you have acid reflux or heartburn every single day or on a weekly basis, you ought to be evaluated by a reflux specialist. Yeah and get rid of the problem. Okay, for more information on Dr. Dorito and Houston Heartburn and Reflux Center, you can call this number. It's 832-945-8717. 832-945-8717 or log on to HoustonHeartburn.com. Thank you very much.